dear first year students assalamu alaikum your textbook of english grade 11 we read the first lesson we did the urdu translation and then today we are going to start doing our exercises now the first exercise were the question answers and i discussed them with you i'll again go through them why does the qaid stress on youth to be continuously vigilant what ideas did qaid give to the youth to be constantly vigilant active youth must think about positivity success and their education youth must find out ways in order to overcome all difficulties in life second question is what according to the qaid is the prime responsibility of youth the prime responsibility of youth according to qaid is to organize their life set a goal target it and then try to meet it when you have targets in life you always meet those targets by working hard third question is having read the text of the qaid speech what traits of character the qaid wants to see in the educated youth he wants his educated youth to be honest vigilant hard working and succeed in all walks of life with the help of character a strong character a strong minded youth can educate others also can bring success to others also by being vigilant by being very hard working and composed and having their targets in their mind working hard and moving towards success question 5 so question 4 what advice does the qaid give to the youth about the choice of career now qaid tells the youth that there are many careers it's not only the government jobs but there are many other jobs such as working in banks now when a new country is formed everything is new and you have to start from scratch so qaid azam mohammed ali jinnah wanted to instill hard work in the youth so that ev- in every walk of life these children these students should be able to come up to the required level as meeting a uh, government's requirement is not only the government jobs there are private jobs also people are there you maybe you are not highly paid but still if you want to be successful you want you want to compete in the world you have to start with scratch next is question 5 compare and contrast the youth of today with ideal youth of qaid azam as described in his speech in his speech qaid azam described the youth which was suffering the youth which knew what slavery was today's youth thinks that everything is easily accomplished because they don't have to strive for it they don't have to compete with any other religion the youth of qaid azam's time the children who were there at that time in 1947 had to compete had to be successful because they were building our nation today's youth has started taking it very easy very light they are not as hard working as the students at that time question 6 6 having read the text of responsibilities of youth what in your view could be the possible role of youth in crisis management of the country if our youth take over the entire working of the government will be very successful because if our youth starts to feel the problems of the government the problems of the people they will be able to channelize all of them and we will move towards a successful and manageable career our future will be in much better hands if our youth take responsibility question 7 qaid says not only has pakistan survived the shock of that upheaval then ever which upheaval is he talking about he is talking about the movement for, of the muslims from india to pakistan not getting enough financial backing having nothing at all and on top of all that the people traveling from india to pakistan from that part of uh, the joint india pakistan they were being killed tortured and nothing to fall back on in pakistan all they had were their feelings their strong, strong happy feelings about being in a new state a state which had no reserves but they eventually managed to to stand on their own two feet next is interpret and analyze the following statements from the speech be aware of the fifth columnist among ourselves now qaid azam is trying to tell his youth that there are some people between us who are still trying to malign us to bring us down we have to be careful of them guard against and weed out selfish who only wish to exploit you so that they may swim now qaid azam is trying to 
tell the youth that we must be guard against is be careful weed out take out those selfish ones who only wish to exploit you and they may so that they may swim people who take advantage of you you should be careful of them number c hither too you have been following the rut all you think and hanker for is government service now i want you to get out of that rut and that mentality especially that now we are in free pakistan qaid azam is telling the youth that only government jobs are not the solution and not the basis of success there are other things which we can do to make our country successful there are other fields we have to change our thinking only government jobs are not the possibility for a brighter future next is write a summary of the lesson responsibilities of youth i'll give you an overlook in the written form inshallah i'll give you in a few days what are the responsibilities of youth in this lesson qaid azam delivered a speech this speech was given to a students convocation ceremony in bengal qaid azam wanted to tell his youth that his success the country of the success of a country the new country that pakistan was depended on its youth the thinking of the youth when young children young students of a country take charge and their thinking is towards positivity no one can stop that country from success this was what qaid azam was trying to instill in the students of that time because he wanted to take the students charge of the country he wanted them to take decisions he wanted them to change the thinking of success he wanted them to stop thinking about only government jobs and trying to scatter towards those yonders in which there was more success like banks he just gave an example about a bank that how successful a person can be if he starts working in the private sector also oral communication group discussion a group discussion refers to a communication communicative situation that allows its participants to share their views and opinions with other participants in a group discussion there are a few people everyone gives his or her ideas and then the conclusion is taken out which side you're on by convincing the others towards the positive aspects and the ne- negative aspects of that situation it is a systematic exchange of information views and opinions about a topic problem issue or situation among the members of a group who share some common objectives participating in discussions shows your confidence and ability to lead the group in the right direction it is important that you give logical points while speaking while initiating the discussion you could use the following phrases with due respect i would like to put forward the point that good morning ladies and gentlemen i would like to begin start by saying i would like to begin by saying my view of the matter now these are all points agreeing with a point disagreeing suggesting your opinion asking for clarification interrupting politely other useful phrases relating to ground reality stating popular facts thanking someone before making your point giving a chance to someone to speak quoting someone popular activity divide the class into groups of 7 students each and hold a group discussion keeping in view the conventions and dynamics of the group discussion on the topic the role of youth in progress and prosperity of a nation